Hello everyone and welcome back to another video where today, kind of a short and different one, but I've wanted to document my migration and the steps I took to move away from Windows to Linux. Now first of all, what made me switch in the first place? The main thing was the upcoming discontinuation of Windows 10 in October of this year. My computer can't run Windows 11 so I've been stuck on 10 this whole time. I know there's ways to get around the checks Microsoft has in place, but that doesn't even matter anyway because I absolutely hate Windows 11. The push for AI and then and then moving around a bunch of things that would usually be one click away in Windows 10 combined that with them just wanting to shove things you don't want down your throat like Microsoft 365, OneDrive, things like that and their automatic updates slowing down everything made me hate it. I just can't stand it. While I easily could have stayed on 10, given software will continue to work on there for a good while after updates have ended, I knew software was going to stop supporting it eventually. Another thing was that I just wanted to try something new. I've been wanting to daily drive Linux for quite a while now actually, actually a couple of years to be precise. But I've always had some problem with it, mainly when I was trying out Fedora, which kept having Wi-Fi issues for me. The Wi-Fi kept stopping even though it said it was connected or something. And as I'll get to later in the video, I was able to start daily driving Linux finally. Now, how did I get here? The main thing I wanted to do before I daily drove Linux was trying to make these tests as native to the computer I was running it on as possible. Which meant running it on the bare metal. Um, using a VM wasn't much of an option and I could run it from a live USB, but that would be very slow for testing. So I decided to get myself a cheap 240 gig SSD, install Linux to that, and then swap out the drives every so often. I took days where I test drove Linux with things I do under my Windows install, see what works, get a feel for things like the terminal, and if I needed to change anything or install any dependencies later. I documented everything I needed to do in a separate document so I could just copy paste the commands when it was really time to switch. Equally as important was the distro I chose. There was a lot to pick from, all having their own pros and cons, but I opted for Linux Mint. It looked like it was the best choice. It was based on Ubuntu, which in itself is based on Debian, which both have a lot of software available, plus flat packs as well, which work with most modern Linux distros anyway. Thankfully, from my testing, all the software I used on Windows worked pretty perfectly on Linux either through Wine or the software having a native Linux version available. Even modding software I used, like Ball Create and Switch Toolbox, which I expected to have some kind of problem, worked absolutely perfectly under Wine. All my peripherals and hardware also worked perfectly right out the gate. Even a couple of goofy peripherals, like this PS3 Play TV I have here, are recognized instantly in Linux, whereas on Windows it needs some rear driver setup, and presumably on newer versions it doesn't even work properly at all. The only instance where a piece of software I used didn't work was the old tool I used for making specific BRSTM files for Mario Kart Wii, however I was able to find a modern alternative which works perfectly. Obviously I knew going in that the editing software I used for videos up to this point hit film wasn't going to work. I was looking forward to using DaVinci Resolve and while it worked fine on the Windows and even my iPad, the Linux version did not like my GPU for some reason. It loaded, but always claimed it was out of memory, even though it wasn't using any memory at all. I tried everything, I couldn't get it to work. So I just resorted to learning how to use Shotcut, which seems to be coming along pretty well. Paint.net also doesn't work. I tried Pinter, which is an, al which is an alternative of Paint.net, and I personally couldn't get a hold of it. So I'm just learning how to use GIMP, which, or, which like Shotcut, seems to be working well too. Now, onto the benefits I get from using Linux. First off, performance compared to Windows is either on par or better with apps I use. Startup time is much quicker and I overall feel like I have way more control over my computer. One thing that really enticed me to switch to my testing was OBS actually, and it working a lot better with the, with the dual GPU setup in this computer. I'm able to reduce load on the Intel integrated GPU which is used for encoding by having OBS render on the NVIDIA GPU which can't do video encoding for some reason. For whatever reason, this can't be done on Windows, but after a bit of setup, works perfectly fine on Linux. I do have a couple of old things that don't work due to them needing some sort of proprietary driver, but for those I could just spin up a virtual machine anyway. In conclusion, I'm really enjoying the switch to Linux I made, and learning how to use it is fun as well. And if you're looking to make the switch, I'd say give it a go. Use a VM and see if your favorite apps work. Or go the route I did and install it to another hard drive and swap between them and see how you like it. 
Me personally, I'm on Linux for keeps. I don't think I can go back to Windows now, I absolutely love it. So anyway, that's about it for now. Thank you for watching this kind of short video. I'm sorry for the lack of uploads, I'm just really kind of trying to find ideas. It's kind of hard sometimes for me. I've had life things going on and just could just be laziness, I don't know. But yeah, that's about it for now. See y'all.